Okay, welcome back to part two of this demonstration of the saliva twist device. We're now going to show you the uh, swab, if I bring this into camera, which has been completely saturated with saliva. This will take between one and a half and three minutes. It isn't a dry swab around the mouth. The swab has to be completely saturated in saliva to gain and discharge enough saliva to run this test. And at that stage, the swab should be completely flaccid and sponge-like, very soft on the stick. Now, to run this test, it's a matter of discharging the saliva from the swab into the body of the test. The swab just feeds into the top here and is depressed down. And you hold it down for a couple of seconds, maybe five to ten seconds, to allow all the saliva to discharge. And I'm just going to push that up and down the barrel to discharge the saliva into the test. Now I can remove the, the swab at this stage. Now you'll see on the membrane that nothing is running on there. To start this test you have to rotate to the click. Now I'm rotating this 90 degrees and clicking and waiting for the saliva to discharge into the first of the membranes. I've just got to give this a couple of seconds just to start running and then what I'm going to do is rotate this 90 degrees the opposite way and click. Now that should have discharged sufficient saliva into both sides of this membrane to run and what you can start seeing here is, if we just show you here, the pink dye starting to run both sides of this membrane. It will not run until you hear that audible click uh, if you just rotate it side to side like this without the click no saliva will be discharged. It doesn't actually feed into the channel until you get that audible click either way. So now what's happening is the uh, test membranes are running. Obviously one will run slightly ahead of the uh, other depending on which one was triggered first. Uh, as soon as you start the first trigger you need your timer to start and the read time for this test is between 5 and 10 minutes. So what should happen now is we'll leave this test to run completely. The white background should occur within that time frame with clear control lines at the top of each membrane to indicate that sufficient saliva has been fed into both of the test membranes. And then we'll come back in part three and show you interpretation of the results on the twist device.